Hi and welcome. So today I'll be showing you how to use variables in Scandio. So first we look at our local variable and then we we'll proceed to look at our global variable. So to start with the local variable, I will just go ahead and create a new test and impute my starting URL. Click on login. So this is my application on that test and I want to log in. So I'll just use standard user standard underscore user and uh, my password so which is secret underscore source and I'm logged in a simple login I will just go ahead and use my assertion to assert that we have this element on this page save this okay then I'll proceed to log out so this is not just all I also want to do some I will click here, put in this and click on login. So this is the wrong um, login credentials. So I would click on stop record. Now I'm back here. So to be able to reuse uh, my variable, to be able to store a data as a variable and reuse it, I just need to, if you notice on our step three, which is our type standard user, that has type username, I would just click collapse that button and click on settings. So on settings, this is the text that was assigned to that particular field, which is our username. I can then proceed to say, I want to assign this to a variable. So once I click on assign to a variable button, I would call this user, username okay, to, I would save. Now that has been saved as a variable, I will do the same for the password. So I'll come to step five, click here and click on assign to variable. So I'll use user, okay, user plus two. Now save that. <clears throat> All right, now that I have saved my variable, I want to reuse the same username and password within this test case, right? So if you look at my step, 11 which is type username i would collapse that and this is an invalid credential so this would not log me in i will clear that out and click on insert variable insert variable i have username 2 here and i would also do the same for step 13 which is type password so i'll click on this collapse this i would remove what we have here insert variable use this all right so the last thing i need to do here before i run my test is to make use of my assertion i need to put the assertion here again to be sure that we successfully log in the second time so all i need to do is to just make a copy of this so i will duplicate that step okay that was delete so i will duplicate that step so once that's my assertion step is duplicated, I can then drag and drop it here. So once this is done, I can then go ahead and execute my test. So to see how that goes, we would to do the first login. So we're successfully logged in, then it will log out. And for where we used our login details as variable, it's reusing it again for the second time. So once it logs in and we can see our test is done playing, so I can close this and um, here we are on our dashboard. So that is how you get to use your variable within a test case. So for our, for our global variable, okay, let's save this test. Let's save this test one. So for our global variable, all I need to do is I will go to my settings on my navigation bar, click on settings and on the left hand side of my screen, I have global variables here. So click on that and um, I will click on the new variable button. I just have to give it a name. I'll call this GP2 and give it a value. So I'll say standard 
underscore user user name g2 so i'll save this all right so this is saved i can go ahead and add that for the password so i'll do the same for the password so user pass global to all right so now my global username and password have been saved so if i should go back to my test okay, let's just go back to my test so if i should go back to my test and where i have in step three to edit so rather than using this okay let me just delete this so rather than using this i can go ahead and say insert variable so this is it here i would click on this for the username and for the password i would also do the same okay, let me... so i'll do the same for password set variable for the global and here since we no longer have this is type password can go ahead and password and finally for my username so here if I execute this test here we're still going to have the same result So we're logged in and yeah so we're done so this is how you get to use and uh, just to note this variable that we saved on a global variable we can use it across all test cases within the project